I don't know if them to are I'm actually going to try to use some stickers that I found. They're all the same size, and so I'm going to try to use lab. that. I've gathered um, all of the materials that we need today. Um, we have our scissors, clear tape, a plastic, plastic tape, tape or bottle. Black marker. Um, try to find so one that has my material lid. Some of them. Together. The I first thing that we want to do is prepare. And so, um, and luckily, they've so got some uh, diagrams that. on um, instructions here. Rounds with flat objects of various that. sizes, um, tape rolls, you can use the plastic lid from your bottle. Our last construction paper. I'm going to do to try to prepare is to cut off the top, the curved part of the plastic bottle. So that's going to be reinforcement. This just um, those circular part. stickers so with the hole in the, the middle. I don't have those on hand, so I'm get. actually going to try to use some stickers that I found. They're all the same this size, so I'm going to try to use that, that you see here um, as an alternative diagram. for those. So a we're going to basically cut off the very top part, clear tape, and we're going to cut this off right where that label black starts. Marker. So um, I have all my so materials, and we are ready to that. go. The first thing um, that we want to actually be cutting, and um, luckily they've got some and then tape them back together. I actually have a little exacto knife that I'm going to try to start my cut with. So we're just going to cut this off and see how that goes. Our lab. So the first thing that you want to do pre to prepare is to cut off the top, the curved part of the plastic bottle. So that's going to be this top gonna get um, it going curved this. part. So the goal here is to get... So I'm going to use, keep the label on and kind of use it as a guide as I cut that you see here on so your diagram. You so it, we're going to um, basically cut off the very possible. top part and we're going to cut this off about where that label starts. Um, so you can use your scissors to do that. Um, it says you can actually begin cutting um, a straight line down and then tape it back together. I actually have a little exacto knife that I'm going to try to start my cut with. So we're just going to cut this off and see how that goes. And I'm just going to get it going with this. And then hopefully I can even this up later. But I'm going to use, keep the label on and kind of use it as a guide as I cut so that hopefully I can keep it um, as straight as possible. the bottom of your um, the base of your bottle as well so I will do that next the middle of this um, as well as the lid we can discard those all right so for step two you are going to place your half globe on a flat surface with the larger opening facing down and with the marker they want us to draw our lines of latitude around our globe they want at least four lines of latitude so I'm actually just gonna measure um, and I think mine's about three inches long so every half inch I'm just going to place a dot and then I'm going to connect those as I go around to draw my lines of latitude and try to keep them as straight as possible. So I'm just going to continue making the um, little dots around, if we can see those, I don't know if you can see those, little dots around, just every so often so that we can try to line these up. Alright, once you have all of your dots, then you're just going to keep um, drawing your lines around, you're going to just connect each of these dots. And that just helped me to keep them so that they don't go too angled as I go around drawing these lines. And then any of them that you need to make darker, you can trace those 
and make them darker. So here's, I'm going to end up having five lines. All right, so that helped me to keep it pretty um, straight as I went around drawing my lines of latitude. All right, so your next step is to draw your lines of longitude. Since we have a circle, I divided it in half both ways, and then halfway in between each of those, I drew a straight line. You need at least six lines of longitude, and so I ended up with eight lines of longitude. So I now have my globe ready to go. Okay, and then your fourth step is to place your whole reinforcements, or for me, I'm going to be doing my stickers. So I'm just going to select stickers. Um, you want to place three of these. You want in different sections of your globe. So you want one close to the small opening or the pole. Um, so I'm going to do one right there at the pole. You want one near the middle and one close to the bottom of your um, grid. So I'm going to do one in the middle and then one closer to the bottom. Alright, so I've now placed my stickers, or my whole reinforcements, on the grid, and now we are ready for our map projection. Alright, now we're ready for projection one, so we are going to end up making it look like this top with the diagram. This is our planar projection. We're going to lay our piece of paper flat. We're going to take the small opening and place it down on the piece of paper. We're going to take our flashlight, and we're going to use this to um, project our lines. Um, I'm actually using, it calls for 11 by 14 paper. I'm using computer paper, so it's 8.5 by 11. We're going to try that. But you'll notice as you get it um, closer or further away, the lines kind of go further or closer. So just try to get it to fit your paper the best that you can. I'm also um, in a room. I've turned off the lights, but I have a lot of windows. So that may affect that I may need to go to another room. But we're going to try it like this and just see what kind of projection we get. Um, so placing the globe in the middle of the paper, I've labeled this paper with my planar projection. Um, start out with the flashlight about five centimeters above, and then like I said, you can move it to adjust. And you can actually try different size flashlights as well. Um, so I have this size flashlight as well, which seems to work a whole lot better. So it looks like the stronger your flashlight is, the better it's going to be. You want to hold it steady, and then you want to trace your lines around your paper. Alright, so this looks good. I'm going to try to show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to try to hold it with one hand and trace with the other. Um, but I'm going to try to flip this around and show you what it looks like. Alright, so here is my planar projection. I'm going to try to show you an overhead view of what I'm looking at. So you're going to lay that small end on your paper, and then as I hold my flashlight closer, You'll see my projection getting bigger. And so I'm going to get it until it fits the um, width of the paper. And then I'm going to hold it right there and trace my lines. Alright, and then once you are done with your planar projection, it should look something like this. And if you have someone to hold the flashlight for you while you're drawing, it's going to make it a lot easier as well. Okay, the second projection that we are going to do is going to be our cylindrical projection. You can either use the base to wrap it around, or I'm actually using the middle of the, the um, bottle that we cut off. And because I'm using the um, computer paper, it's too short. So this is where I'm just going to tape um, two pieces together to make my... Um, paper long enough. I'm just going to tape it around this and make it into a cone. Alright, I just left um, the middle portion of my bottle in there to help hold the shape. And then this time you want to set your bottle down in there with the small side pointing down. And you just want to tape it to the top. Alright, so I'll put about four pieces of tape around that. I'll remove that middle part of the bottle. Alright, so for this projection, you are going to hold the flashlight above here. And again, about five centimeters, kind of move it around until you can see it well. And you are going to trace the lines that you can see on the outside of this paper. Okay, and 
Okay, and projection three is our conic map. So again, I've taped two pieces of paper together to kind of give me more room to make my cone. And I'm just going to fold this into the best cone shape that I can. Trying to make it as wide as I can up top and as small as I can at the bottom. And then I'll tape that. So that my um, cone will fit down in there. So that my, my globe will. Alright, and then I'll use my scissors to turn off the edges. Alright, now that we have our conic projection, you're going to hold this with the small end down and then you are going to, again, position your flashlight so you, that you get the best projection and you are then going to um, trace your lines onto your conic projection. Now you should have your three map projections. You should have your planar projection, you should have your cylindrical projection, which you can fold out and your conic projection, which you can also untape and fold out into a flat map. All right, and so once you fold out your other projections, you end up with your planar projection. This is your cylindrical projection um, unfolded. And then when you unfold your conic projection, you should get something similar to this. Um, you will then answer your questions on your student guide and you will answer questions one through three based on the planar projection and the cylindrical projection and then questions four through seven based on your conic projection.